What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Pearson, and I'm the creator of the Thesis Theme for WordPress. And today, I just want to take this opportunity to lead you on a little guided tour of the theme and show you everything that I think is awesome about it, all right? So our tour today is going to start with the Thesis Options page, where you're greeted with a slew of, of really, uh, really amazing options here for controlling the content and things like that on your site. And one of the first things you'll notice here is you got different blocks, um, you know, covering very, very simple areas like the document head. This would be uh, part of the HTML output on the page. You can make design customizations. You can control a syndication or feed. It's like your feed burner URL, things like that. Um, you can add stats software and scripts to your header. Maybe you use Mint to, to tr uh, track your traffic or maybe um, you use Google Analytics, something like that, you can insert that there. Um, you have all kinds of options for your, your post bylines, like this is a post byline, your titles, the header of your site, archives pages, all kinds of stuff. All that stuff is optionable here. You can control like stuff that shows up on your comments, your avatar sizes. You get the idea. There's tons of options, tons of things you can control and a lot of things you can tweak to your liking. Another thing that, that's really key here, I think, is just overall usability. I, I've seen other options panels and just, just pieces of software that I use, like even stuff that I use on DIY themes. And one of the primary issues I see in these pieces of software is that the interfaces that you have to use are terrible. And like little care has been given to these and uh, little thought has been put into them. And that makes your experience using the software frustrating. And uh, that's one of the things I definitely, you know, seek to combat with Thesis. And uh, I'll just give you an example of that here uh, is the new nav constructor that you'll find in Thesis 1.5. Uh, let's take a look. So what we've got, let's, let's flip back to the homepage and see what we're dealing with right now. On this nav menu right now, we just got a home link. And uh, I want to spice that up. So we'll use the new Thesis nav selector just to do this real quick on the fly. So here we go. So here's, here's our uh, nav selector over on the right. And these are all of the WordPress pages that exist on this little test installation I've got here. And so uh, I'd like to add the about link to that nav bar. Uh, this, this says some silliness. It says Ted Dummy Archives. We'll add that, but we'll change its name. We want to call it something else. We'll call it just simply Archives. And then... Uh, We'll put a page template, a custom page template on there too, just because. And just for kicks, we'll drag this up to the top. We'll put that first. All right. So now that I've done that, let's save it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Hitting refresh. Look at that. Custom page template shows first and then about and then archives, uh, which is what I changed that to say. But Let's look at this custom page template. That's pretty long and cumbersome. That might be too wide for like a, a normal navigation tab. So I'm going to go back here to the options panel and change that while my dog barks. And now it's called, let's see, eh, we just want this one to be custom. Why not? And we'll save it. And let's take a look. And there it is, custom. That is really easy. You can edit it right there from the interface, which makes it really handy. You just edit your text right here in line. Uh, you want this to display second? No problem. Just drag it down, hit save, check your site, and now custom shows after about. It's just that easy. And that's just one example of, uh, you know, what I think is, is solid usability within Thesis. It makes it easy to work with gives you the options that you want, where you want them, where you need them to be, and it just makes a lot of sense.